hi guys welcome back to my channel if you are new here kindly click on the subscribe button and if you are an existing subscriber thank you thank you today as you can see from that topic if you have to do it then do it right that is why i'm here to educate us on some of the crucial things you must note before you use that this particular topic to come into this place if you have to do it at all ensure what you filled in the form is what you are sticking to throughout the point of entry now for instance you fill in the form oh i'm going for a tourist uh, i would like to visit some places just like a summer break when you get to the point of entry please don't tell them you have a family member you are changing what you wrote they have those records with them they are just asking you what you wrote again and also if you are coming for a tourist please ensure you have your hotel reservation your return ticket very important you don't want to be sent back at the port of entry if you are coming for family don't come and say when i come or if they push it to you like or if you come and you find a job will you be doing it no stick to that family member and when you come don't say i want to help my sister to take care of her baby to them is like a work because nothing is free to them unlike the way we see omugo even if your mom or anyone from your family is coming for baby don't tell them they won't come and take care just say they want to come and see your new baby that's all or some other story don't put it in form of they want to work because to them taking care of baby is like a nanny work and that means you are going to pay them and they don't want to hear anything like you are working at all so stick to the plan and another thing you say you are coming for tourists okay and now in your bag you have all sorts of nigerian food or your country food please is it that you want to come and start cooking in that your tourist tourist visit how it's a reason i'm now so please when you want to do this thing do it perfectly and it stands upon this sunday if you are seeing this video i'm posting it tomorrow so that means this sunday just four days ago like i told you my church is offering free pickup if you're in winnipeg i posted it on my page check it out now this person contacted the church like oh because of pick me up i'll be coming they gave the time so my husband and one other person in the church was assigned to pick this person do you know what happened at the point of entry in short we've never heard about this one before that means they too they are changing their own um tactics logic they collected this person's phone to say do you have a family or friends in canada maybe from the application he said no and now they now saw a number a canadian number on his phone it is so simple just say you saw it and it's for pickup or something but if you had written lots of all oh, tourists this is how they expect you not to have anybody so if you want to put your application we don't even know if this person was sent back home or if this person entered we don't know because we lost communication someone was now calling to say oh and um, when this number call you maybe a friend or something oh just tell them we don't know him we don't know you know it's already like and it's very late in the night so they didn't go to they don't know what happened again since the friend said we should not even call because but our services are querying him about does he know anyone in Canada? Do you see? Even these border services, they are now changing all their statistics. So please stick to whatever you want to come and do. If it's visits, make it visits. If they see food on you, just say, and you already say it's a family member. Of course, you are bringing food for that family member or something. Or just put your story together. Not in a way that will cobalize somebody. If I'm permitted to use that word. So please package this application very well these people too are now changing their whole thing 
it is a must for you to finish this video and if you've not subscribed please subscribe at this point number two is if you are coming as a visitor and you don't have anybody please take money along bring money along to to get a b and b is is really really expensive even hotel fee is really expensive before you now see someone to even do maybe share the apartment because you cannot rent house it's not possible you can't see job it's not possible maybe the underground thing where you go feed they do maybe if you see a person will go share the house for you maybe i get two bedroom and i know they use one i feel share one with you and I, even the one where i want to share with you now still like six hundred dollars calculate them with your currency you see saying a big money and that money you go to pay them every month you see say no be small things to come in this country and now to even get a job it's really hard like i said maybe now underground you go they do then we will pay you for anything, anything maybe your bank like they just give you cash maybe not that thing they go they give you i guess the real person will come now the thing where the, the person they do self um, it's not easy trying to do all those things if you don't have a solid plan even if the plan is to get the lmia that your agent is promising you tell that agent to fix everything before you come so that they know you go change story when you come it's really hard not having job not having money in this country you need money to survive in this country it's not joke and now let's say that you now have a family member maybe you are my family you now decide to stay in my two bedroom apartment okay if i do it one month two months the third month i go run tire that's just human being for you because i have a lot of bill and probably when you come around it's going to increase my bill in a way just take it like that so for you to now be staying with someone please offer to do something too even if it's not your full rent even if the house is free offer to pay like electricity bill water bill all of those bills if they plenty or before they change them for you then if the agent that you still chose to go with is saying oh go don't worry it's fine when you get there you change it there's work there's job if they don't tell you all of those story fine it's good but please can i advise you if you're a family of anything anything can the man or the woman just come first to see if it's worth it before you now go and risk everything bring all your family member at the end of the day you cannot get apartment you cannot take those kids to school you cannot do anything for them so that you will not be blaming yourself can one person come first and see if it's oh if it's a lovely plan say to wait the whole ground now let every other person come and enjoy it don't let them suffer they suffer thing 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 with you please i just feel i'm seeing a lot of things around that i cannot even start talking about that's why i'm coming here to say that even if you have to do it please do it right can one person out of the four member of the family come first to see if it's worth it before you start selling everything at the end of the day you know if you go back home so now anything anything where you see you go they struggle to do and it's so difficult and cold is coming. Hmm. This country. Maybe in like three months we they use enjoy sun. If you if you check outside my house now, it's so sunny. But if you enter that sunny thing, it's so chilling. Like the temperature is already going. So please don't I know it's good to be a rig sticker, but some rigs, eh? You go think on twice before you do them. Another point is, I know the agent is saying, Oh, someone went there and got a job. Changes from Kinikon. I saw a story of someone who was saying that, Oh, he, she, he took two members to US, Canada border to Flagpole. Like I explained in one of my videos. If you've not seen it, you need to go and check it to know the meaning of Flagpole. 
you can't change anything like student um visitors to students or visitor to worker without flag pulling do you know the time they went there a.m in the morning do you know when they go back very late at night that means even to flag pull no easy everything nobody say easy like that now the agent is saying oh so they will give you a job when you come they will get... tell the agents please can you make arrangements while i'm still here let the arrangement be going that i'm coming this particular because it was not even a six, six months else all this plan of staying in canada you don't just spoil everything like that like you can't exceed three six months even if you have to change from one status to another now is it possible i've seen people that are yeah, here like hmm. I know if you talk with my eyes, don't see for this channel in this video social thing. But things are happening that I don't want to hear about. Now, I, I'm not saying you should not exercise your faith. Of course, exercise your faith. And I've told you, if you are very skillful, I read a story of someone, his oncologist, that came and they, they gave him work permits like because those skills are are skills that they really needed if you are very skillful of course it's so possible but if it, there's no skill at all like you are just like which job will i even you're just doing just normal job that any canadian can go and apply for and they will get it it's so difficult to get such because even before they can give you that advert must be on the on job maybe on indeed on all the job sites for a particular period and they must prove to canada that oh we've posted this job for a very long time and we did not see it that's why they want to take a foreigner to take the position because a lot of people are even here that they've not gotten job even for permanent residents for students that what they have they are still trying to change it they are just taking anything for now so imagine now giving that higher position job for a foreigner when other people are still trying to get a job that are that have a permanent stay do you understand so please even if that agent is saying oh it's possible someone did it let them start your own process before you carry back because six months is just like come pam and it's six months already <laughs> my last advice is please I know agents will say my money is two million and you must pay me please don't pay that money before you leave Nigeria uh, before you see your visa don't pay full money let it be like a particular percentage and a particular percentage of which is just 100 and it's less than 200 Canadian dollar to do a visitor's visa that you can do yourself and uh, well if you cannot do it good go to an agent but make sure it is not the full money you are giving at first if they are charging you two million ask can you pay two hundred thousand first or a particular amount of money first if your visa comes out you pay the remaining one please be wise though before because any money that goes into the hand of an agent you will not see it to collect again and another thing is, please if that visa is now being denied if an agent did it for you and they now deny the visa please ask for the reason because in your next application even if you are not doing visitors visa again even if it's permanent resident you now chose to do in that permanent application you they will ask you have you been refused the visa before if you say yes they will say state the reason so even if agent is doing it for you, please carry yourself along with the agent to know every of the details that is put in. If it's put in, you are doing tourism. Well, you must ask him, what did you put for you to get this visa? If you say tourist, don't go there and go and say you want to visit family member. If you say you are doing conference, don't go there and go and say you are doing tourists. Please be wise. And now, if they now deny the visa, ensure you know the reason the particular reason don't just say oh i have with my oh they denied it why 
if you have details of why they denied the visa it's very useful most times in that application if they deny a visa they will write the reason why they deny the visa so ask the agent what reason did they put for the denier so that in your next application you're not going to be writing something that is not i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe like and comment please take us to the next level thank you